Proverbs 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to discern the words of understanding, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice and equity. To give prudence to the simple knowledge and discretion to the young man. That the wise man may hear and increase in learning and that the man of understanding may attain to sound counsel, to understand a proverb and parables, the words and riddles of the wise. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but the foolish despise wisdom and instruction. My son, listen to your father's instruction, and don't forsake your mother's teaching, for they will be a garland to grace your head and chains around your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, don't consent. If they say, come with us, let's lay in wait for blood. Let's lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let's swallow them up alive like Sheol, and whole like those who go down into the pit. We'll find all valuable wealth. We'll fill our houses with spoil. You shall cast your lot among us. We'll all have one purse. My son, don't walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path, for their feet run to evil. They hurry to shed blood. For in vain is the net spread in the sight of any bird. But these lay wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud in the street. She utters her voice in the public squares. She calls at the head of noisy places. At the entrance of the city gates, she utters her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long will mockers delight themselves in mockery, and fools hate knowledge? Turn at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make known my words to you, because I have called and you have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one has paid attention. But you have ignored all my counsel and wanted none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your disaster. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when your disaster comes on like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come on you, then will they call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me, because they hated knowledge and didn't choose the fear of Yahweh. They wanted none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore they will eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own schemes, for the backsliding of the simple will kill them. The careless ease of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell securely and will be at ease without fear of harm.